Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH. Today we have a DA50. It's been sent to be converted to a CH unit. Um, as you know, the DA engines comes with a big uh, red uh, sensor in the front of the engine. I took that off and in the same place I put one of the other sensors. Um, that's a RCXL style, I don't know what number it is, but it fits pretty good there. Okay, so I'll get as close as possible if the camera is gonna focus and be able to see so that's the way it looks okay and uh, the unit it's a regular CH but the program is been changed to be able to accommodate this engine all right so the uh, prop it's a ZOR 2210 uh, what else it's been running previously I seen 6400 rpm with this and idling around 1300 so let's see if I get a good position to start it. The idle needs to be a little bit higher. That's why it starts, yeah. Let me get the idle a little bit higher. Now should be much better. Put the screw that I have in my pocket. Get the glove. Okay. Position is this should be a little bit more here so I can see it doesn't start bad it's just there need to find the right position so I can flip the prop right Don't do that so yeah makes a lot of noise and moves the whole sand
as you can see, it runs pretty good. It has a decent acceleration, um, no hesitation. I'm running also. It can. I think it could run even better. I'm running 20 to 1. Actually, I do that on all the engines since I don't want to have any more surprises. Uh, okay, so then again, it's 20 to 10, uh, 20 to 10 uh, Zor prop. The sensor. Here is the sensor that I did to replace the original one. Let me go again. Okay, now it's focused and this is what I've done. Okay, the engine is timed. The unit is done to accommodate the software with a degree curve for this engine, which you see it runs pretty good. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that I have more time to do more. Thank you.